guys, welcome back to Steve Small and the Saloon again. I'm Steve. I am going to show you how to partially rebuild one of these cube type carburetors right now. The reason I say partially is because if I do a video right now on how to completely rebuild this thing, I'm talking popping those welch plugs out, all that stuff. It'll be the longest, boringest video that you've ever seen. On top of that, 99.9% .9 of the time, you don't need to do that complete build anyway. There's two common problems in, the, in this carburetor that I am actually going to go through, and that's probably going to fix your carburetor. In a nutshell, really quickly here, a carburetor um, simply mixes your gasoline uh, petrol, for all my British friends again, gasoline and air, it mixes those together at the proper ratio to inject it into your engine so your engine works properly. That's what a carburetor does in a very nutshell right there. The tools that you're going to need to do this job, um, I'm going to go with Labatt Blue today. Um, you can actually use any beer to do this job that you want. Any beer is going to work. You also will need a uh, Phillips number two screwdriver and you're going to need a carburetor repair kit. Um, I'm going to concentrate on this unit right here. If you have a unit that looks like this, I chose this one because there's millions of these things out here. Zama carburetor on this one, you're going to need a Zama carburetor repair kit. It's an RB100 repair kit for this. I actually didn't have one of these in the saloon. I had to burn down this morning to Friesen Rentals and Hardware in Cedar, British Columbia, Canada. I said I needed one of those, told Dave what I was doing. He said, take it, donate it to the cause. Thank you very much, Dave. Steve Small Angel Saloon appreciates that. That's what you need for doing this. Now, this applies to all carburetors, all the, of these cube type carburetors, they're two stroke carburetors. Nothing to do with lawnmowers, nothing to do with the, the four stroke stuff. You're gonna find that these cube type carburetors, the most common ones out there, you can open up two sides of the carburetor. One side has the um, fuel pump diaphragm on it, the other side has the, the metering diaphragm on it. Now that's the majority of these type carburetors out there. There is another type of carburetor out there that you could possibly run into. Um, I don't actually have one in the saloon today to show you, but um, April, you got that picture of that Walbro carb handy? Can you put that up? Perfect, right there. Holy crap, that was fast. So you can see that the bottom of that carburetor right there, guys, it's got two layers on it. Um, the fuel pump diaphragm, metering diaphragm are on the same side of the carburetor on the bottom there. But it's still the same concept for doing what I'm about to show you. Doesn't really matter if it's on both sides or not. It's just a different style of a cube carburetor. You got your carburetor in your hand now. You got your Phillips screwdriver. We are going to take off the metering diaphragm side first. If you got the carburetor in your hand right now on that unit that I just showed you, it's the side with the primer bulb on it. Four screws, Phillips screwdriver, take that out. Unscrew those four screws. We're doing this side first because this is hands down the most common problem with these carburetors. You can pull that whole thing off there, primer ball, everything, four screws put it aside and now this primer body this is called the primer body should just pop right off there and now you can see the inside of your carburetor there's your metering diaphragm right there you can identify your metering diaphragm because all metering diaphragms have that little silver disc on there that's your metering diaphragm pull that thing off 
carefully if you can with the with the gasket and everything on there hold that thing that thing if you pinch that in between two fingers like this and then you grab that disc with two other fingers and flex that up and down it should be really soft and supple my friend Paul he loves that word supple this one right here, you can almost hear that. Can you hear that kind of crinkle a little bit? Sort of. How about this one? Here's one I took out last week. You hear, you hear that? I'd play a tune for you if I knew how. That metering diaphragm is screwed. These things are supposed to move up and down freely. They're supposed to be as soft as a piece of silk. What that does is that moves your lever your your uh, carburetor lever it pushes that up and down which in turn moves your needle in and out to meter your fuel that's going into your engine if that doesn't work properly your engine can't work properly this one's bad this one here it's kind of a little bit crinkly you should be changing that anyway it should be as soft as a piece of fabric now we pull your carburetor kit out Open that carburetor kit, dump her out. Now, put your new gasket on, on this side of your carburetor. The gasket goes on first. And make sure that you line up that little hole in the gasket with the hole that's in the carburetor. Right there. And then, your metering diaphragm goes on next. And the silver disc goes down inside your carburetor. I've seen a lot of carburetors come in where they have it upside down like that. It won't work like that. You have to have it flipped over that way. The little silver disc goes down into your carburetor. Now you got that on. Primer body, put it back on. Remember the way you took it off. Put it back on the same way. Hold that on there, screw those screws back in. And, and it was a little bit crispy, or as crispy as that one I showed you, that crinkler, there's a good chance that's all you need to do in your carburetor. Seeing as you already got a carb kit, and the other side of this carburetor is so easy to do, this is your fuel pump side, one screw. Let's take that off now. Get that one screw out of there pop that out there's really one thing that you can check in this and this is your um, screen there's a little um, screen down in here that if there's something wrong with your fuel filter sometimes your fuel filter will fall off you get a lot of debris getting sucked out of your tank it's gonna pool right inside this little hole right here on top of that screen just look at that real quick and make sure that's nice and clean in there it probably is going to be especially on this unit that we're doing today your fuel pump diaphragm you can identify that because it has two little flappers on it two little flappers like this that flap up and down that's your fuel pump diaphragm and you got your fuel pump gasket rip both of those off there like I say might as well you got your your carb kit here anyways now on this one don't get this wrong if you put your gasket on first then your diaphragm it's not going to work properly at all your diaphragm with those two little flappers goes on your carburetor first that goes against your carburetor just like that then the gasket goes on hold that down screw back in once you got that back together put that all back on your weed eater or your chainsaw or whatever you're doing um, now you want to set that carburetor up you want to actually adjust that carburetor go back to my channel I have um, videos on there on how to adjust the carburetor on a chainsaw another video on how to adjust the carburetor on a on a weed eater or blower go back after you get that all back together do that 
And I really honestly think that that is going to fix a lot of your problems, by far the majority of your problems. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up if it helped you out. Uh, subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Till the next episode, guys, Steve out.